somebody commented and said, yes, this is called self-leading and it is dangerous for the girl. If you are not comfortable following, then learn to lead, but don't be a nightmare for a leader. So pleasant. I love how kind people are in comments. I replied, I said, interesting perspective. I think the dance requires adaption on both sides, lead and follow. I'm quite comfortable following and leading, and in both roles, I look forward to my partner's creative input. Person replied, again, self-leading is unnecessary styling during partner work and is not only confusing for the leader, but also dangerous for the follower. As a YouTube salsa sensation, love that part, you are setting the wrong example for followers. The pioneers of couple dancing foresaw all of this, and that's why they laid down the etiquettes. I replied, I appreciate your input, but the pioneers in any industry or activity could never truly foresee the evolution of their undertaking. You are welcome to take a different approach, but mine will always be to empower dancers, leaders, and followers to develop a solid foundation so that they can truly express themselves. And if a leader who considers himself advanced is so easily confused, then perhaps he needs to project less and reflect more. Uh, his reply was, your parameter for an advanced leader is not based on musicality, lead, turn pattern, shines, but on whether he gets confused and turned off due to self-leading of a follower, then I don't know what to say. The pioneers of partner dancing foresaw this problem, and that's why they created a section for solo shines so that both can express themselves. You are not empowering either the leader or the follower. What you are doing is confusing and turning off the lead and misguiding the follower into a risky situation, especially in a fast dance like salsa. Self-leading is a bad habit. So first point that I'd like to address is why do I do that self-leading you want to call it? But why do I introduce a lot of these things? Why do I challenge this lead and follow dynamic? And for me, it's because the dance is a conversation. I'm not here to be lectured by anybody. And that means basically that I can listen to you, but I might have something to say, and I would hope that you would extend me the courtesy of listening to me as well. And considering how long now that I've been dancing, I'm not a beginner. So yeah, I have actually opinions and thoughts now it's not just a bunch of questions like what do i do now what does that mean what does this hand raise mean what does this mean right it now it's not that kind of um conversation now it's really like hey i was thinking maybe we could do this right and then even with a beginner it's not even to say that it's your level of skill and all of the things that you know that should dictate whether you should be listened to in fact as a beginner you should especially be attended to and a good lead would be paying attention to those uh, unspoken cues, right? Not just nonverbal, because um, dance is pretty much nonverbal, but the unspoken cues, the things that are not very clearly indicated. So something like a wince, you know, you do something and the person's like, like that. That's a feedback. That's them, your partner, saying something to you. Or maybe there's a confusion, like, hmm, I don't know what happened. That's feedback. That's your partner saying, I don't understand what you just did. And if you want to just blow through that, then you're not having a conversation. You came on the dance floor to basically dance with like a broomstick. You'd be better off dancing with a broomstick if that's your attitude to what this dance is supposed to be. And in that sense, I mean, you should just be paying for your dances, right? You'll be like, I want absolute obedience and I don't want any input and I'll give you $100 for this five minutes. Can you please not say anything? Cool, I can, I could probably do that, <laughs> right? But otherwise, if you're dancing with somebody, you should be looking for feedback. Everything you say is not a command, it is a request. And your follower is going to tell you either in how they respond, whether it's through confusion, whether it's like following it perfectly, whether it's adding something a little bit extra or a little bit different, that is the response to your request. And that's where you're going to get that conversation in your dance.